Today I have an international beauty haul, a little bit of skincare, I have some body care and I even have one kind of luxury fragrance. But can we take a minute to appreciate how my t-shirt, this basket and my nails all match really well. <laughs> It's Magali and if it's your first time on my channel then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I make fairly regular videos on beauty, fashion, travel and a bunch of other topics really. I just like to talk about whatever I enjoy. Today it's like an old school beauty haul where I have all of my stuff in this basket. There's a wide variety of things from many different brands that excite me. This is actually a long delayed part 2. I had done the first part of this haul few months ago I'm gonna to link to it in the upper right corner that one was just makeup so this is all of the other stuff like skincare body care all of that but I'm gonna list all of the products that we will be talking about today in the description bar below and there'll also be links to get more information on them since this stuff isn't really available locally I actually order this to my aunt's home in the United States and she brings them down to India whenever she visits home the things I'm gonna talk about today are kind of a mix of affordable products products, mid-range products as well as high-end ones. Before we dive into the products, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about internet security and I have partnered with Kaspersky. Kaspersky is the most tested and the most awarded internet security company. And I feel like this is a topic we just do not talk about enough. We use the internet now more than ever. We basically communicate with people, we do banking, we watch stuff. The internet is an inescapable part of all of our lives. There is a dark side of it. There is malware that your devices can get. There are phishing attacks, there's identity theft. We all think that we're quite careful until something actually happens to us. So we should not wait to reach that point. Kaspersky has this product called Total Security that you basically pay an upfront fee for a year and this protects three of your devices which is what I've been using so I use it on both of my computers as well as my Pixel phone. There are just a lot of amazing features built into it. When I'm browsing it actually checks the security certificate of the website and warns me if the website looks kind of shady which is something I appreciate. A lot of crappy stuff can happen by just visiting the wrong link so I am protected in that regards Kaspersky also has a VPN and I prefer to use a VPN or a virtual private network as much as I can which safeguards your computers like IP address and your browsing experience if you're someone who hasn't thought too much about being safe on the internet then I would highly recommend checking them out I also really like that Kaspersky's total security covers three devices across different platforms because when it comes to computers I use Macs my phone is Android or whatever it is you're using you can expect to be covered by them and you just pay for one membership. I'm leaving a link to Kaspersky's offerings in the description bar below. I am going to be working with them on an ongoing basis so you will be hear me talk about them in the future and I will also be giving out some Kaspersky total security keys for a one year membership in a future video. Let's dive right in. I'm gonna start with the skincare first. The brand that I was most excited about, both in the makeup haul as well as this haul really, is Glossier. So I ended up ordering this kit of theirs. It's called the Skincare Edit and it actually has a lot of their famous skincare products in just one kit. They are all minis, so you actually get to try them out for a more affordable price and then figure out if you would like to buy anything full size because skincare especially is so subjective. It's something that works amazingly well for someone can cause a reaction with the next person so I think this is like an ingenious idea and how chic is this kit really paper and it keeps all of the glass stuff safe and it was secured with this little rubber band here's what it looks like inside and if you're curious about what this is it's actually a little headband that you can put on when you're doing your skincare so that your hair does not get on your face so you have the milky jelly cleanser they are cult face wash i think there's the future dew oil serum hybrid a product that you apply before makeup or instead of makeup and it gives you that really shiny look that some of us are blessed with naturally if you have dry skin and want that very glowy look this is supposed to be great for it they have their Super Bounce Serum and two of their Balm.com mini balms. That's actually what their balm is called. It's like a pun on Balm.com. 
So they have the regular one as well as the rose one. Also a little jar of their rich priming moisturizer. A lot of people have pointed out that this kit is really geared towards people with normal to dry skin. My skin gets kind of dry when we in Mumbai have our one and a half to two months of winter. So I am definitely going to use all of this then. If you have used Glossier products, especially if you're Desi, I would love to know your experience with this. I'm quite enjoying the makeup that I bought, so I definitely can't wait to dive into skincare as well. Another thing that I have from Glossier, their Balm.com, the full-size product, and this is their cherry one. It is like a very simple tube, but at the same time quite chic. Full-size and a mini. This is like a multi-use balm. You can use it as a lip balm, uh, but you can also use it as a salve when you're having dry patches. It does have a pretty thick, balmy texture that you don't see in so many products in India. Because we're like a warm, humid, tropical country, I don't think we really need these kind of balms very often. This would work well in cold, dry climate. I really like the fragrance of it. It is exactly what you would expect from cherry scented product. I also bought a couple of products from Biore. I feel like Biore was all over the map 10 years ago we were all using their nose strips and then we realized that these pore strips are actually not that good for you but i got these in a combo so i was like okay you know so i have a one charcoal nose strip and i have this mini face wash it's a daily used rose quartz and charcoal cleanser which is especially formulated for oily skin when i read the name i was wondering whether this was going to be exfoliating and there would be particles or anything there isn't but it looks like there's actually some micro glitter in this product that uh, kind of shines when you put it on which I think is a little gimmicky because why should there be glitter in a face wash? It's fully unnecessary. But I actually tried this out once. I felt like it was nice. It cleansed my face but was definitely non-stripping. And I'm planning to keep this for whenever I'm traveling because it is a small size after all. From St. Ives, we do have this brand in India but I'm not sure we have this exact thing. This is the acne control spot treatment. Promises that it starts working instantly and it's clinically proven to help clear blemishes without over drying your skin which is nice it is dermatologist tested which is kind of a hollow label it doesn't necessarily mean much it is alcohol free that's nice it has tea tree which i'm mildly skeptical about its efficacy two percent salicylic acid now this definitely works well on acne it's also non-comedogenic and fragrance free and it comes with this very targeted nozzle because it is a spot treatment after all my skin is much better than it was a few years ago but but acne is still a recurring concern. I'm gonna try this out whenever I next see acne and see if it's helping me out. I have something really cute from this brand called Starface. I am obsessed with them and I'm obsessed with this product category on the whole. Starface makes these things called Hydro Stars. These are hydrocolloid pimple patches. I have been talking about pimple patches since like I first discovered them three or four years ago. They are amazing and I've tried pimple patches from many different brands. On the whole, I feel like they work really well, especially if you're getting one of those bigger pimples, it's going to hurt and that's going to linger for a little while. I put a patch on and it helps me not pick my face because that's an issue that I do have. It helps you not transmit bacteria from your hands if you're touching it. It does shrink the pimple. For sure, I feel that these do help me. They have come out with such a cute product. It's actually available in this little dabba that you can keep in your purse and it has this face on it. You open up the dabba, it actually has a little mirror which is just so nice. So you don't have to use your phone's front camera. You get a certain amount of patches the first time you buy it and then you can buy the refill pack you don't need to buy a new container every time. You can see here that I've already tried one. It sticks really nicely. It's not very large, but it's not small. It's a decent size. I use these all the time. I put them on my face. I film videos. I go to events. I'm absolutely unashamed of them. Refills come in little envelopes like this. You just stick them in your dabba. I guess the disappointing thing is they don't ship to India. But I'm going to leave a link to some really cute pimple patches that are available in India. A pimple patch often looks like it's an intentional embellishment rather than something serving a function. The next few skincare products I have to show you are in the mid to high end range. First up I have from Biosans their Squalene plus Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. And I did see a lot of really good reviews of this product. I don't have a lot of dark spots but sometimes I have that like post acne hyperpigmentation that happens. 
when you get a bad zit sometimes and then it leaves that like black scar. I definitely have a couple on my chin. So I decided to check this out and see if it's gonna help me. I have actually not had the best luck with vitamin C based products before this but I'm gonna give it another chance. This is also my first ever product from Biosense which I think it's one of the newer brands. I've seen so many new brands come up over the last few years. It says it's clean, conscious and high performance. From the brand philosophy, I feel like they've definitely been around longer. I have their Hope Water Cream, Hyaluronic Acid Based Moisturizer and for some reason like the aesthetics of this and the design and the name, it really reminds me of Belif products. Not even sure if I'm pronouncing Belif correctly but they also have a high water cream. I will say that when I opened this up I was expecting a bit more of a gel texture but this has like a thicker whipped souffle kind of consistency. But I have not given it a try yet. I would say it's not as light as a gel but it's definitely lighter than a cream. It is fragrance by the way which I feel like most brands have moved away from fragrance for face products. The final face product, I'm also trying this brand for the first time. I've always wanted to try something from Tatcha. So this is a luxury American brand. It's actually by Unilever and Tatcha is inspired by Japanese brands a lot. So I think it's like developed in Japan and they a lot of ingredients that are available there. I really love their packaging. This is called the Essence. This is supposed to be a plumping skin softener. It kind of reminds you of like Sulvasu and stuff but it looks so cute on the dresser and it has a very like watery consistency. You can see that. The reviews for this one look really promising. It does have an ingredient called Hadese 3 and this is a trademarked ingredient apparently. It also says that this piece was born in Japan but nurtured in California. I know that this supposedly contains fermented ingredients. I do think that fermented stuff is actually really good for you. I try to eat fermented foods often because they're good for your gut. So I figure fermented skincare will also be good for your face. This is a haul featuring all products that are pretty much new to me so I'm asking you guys again if you've tried Tatcha please leave a comment and let me know what you've thought of them. I've always wanted to try their lip mask also. Let's move on to body care stuff. I got a couple of products from Aveeno. This brand is available in India. These products are not, these are very specialized. The Aveeno eczema therapy range so I have the eczema therapy daily moisturizing cream and then I have the eczema therapy itch relief balm. I have just developed this condition in the last three or four years it's become more active although I realized that I was showing signs of eczema back when I was in high school even. I got my first real flare up three or four years ago. It's where your skin gets these like inflamed itchy patches so I get them at all random places on my body but my hands especially. I wake up in the morning and my hands are itching. One of the ways that you can treat eczema is via steroid creams and I stayed away from steroid creams because I was afraid of the side effects for a really long time. In the end I had to use a steroid cream because even the best moisturizers in the world were not working on an active flare up and steroid cream helped me really quickly. But I really love that there are so many products available, non-steroid ones for eczema in America. All of the good skincare brands actually cater to eczema sufferers. They actually talk about it and you do not find that here at all. So I am very jealous. So these are both big size. And they will last me a really long time. In the meantime, I just stay moisturized and hope that I don't get too many flare-ups. Monsoon is kind of my favorite that way because I get the least flare-ups. When I get really sweaty, that's also bad. So that's summertime. In the winter, when the air gets really dry, that's also equally bad. I also bought this. This is a box of cotton gloves and this is also something used mainly by people who suffer with eczema. As I said, my finger eczema bothers me a lot. So you moisturize at night and then you put on these cotton gloves to help lock the moisturizer in. And for most of the year, I will not be able to use this because it will be really annoying because it's, it's so hot and I don't really sleep with an air conditioner or anything. But in the winter, this might help me. You get 24 pairs of gloves in this box. They're thin cotton gloves. I bought these from the US and my aunt is really a saint for bringing all this stuff down to me. 
some shaving related products it's my favorite way to remove hand and leg hair this is a brand called billy and they make really cute razors they also make some body care products but i only really bought the razors they are available in a lot of different colors i really like this neon highlighter one it's so cute initially when you subscribe you get the razor and an additional blade and then you can choose the frequency of more blades that you want i really like the packaging it's so fresh and you also get this cute little thing that you can stick on your bathroom wall and this is like a magnetic razor holder you can just put the razor onto that little triangle it has its place in your bathroom I also have an additional set of cartridges. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after I finish off these cartridges. I did not really think it through all the way, but I do have other razors, so I'm not like going to have a big predicament or anything like that. I just really wish we had nice razor brands available in India that are high performance, that are chic that actually look good i don't need everything to be pink and glitter that is equally annoying i just want some nice looking options i also brought one product from us they were most known for those egg shaped lip balms that were like viral 10 15 years ago so they have this shave better shave cream i love the pun that they made because instead of saying shave butter they've said shave better and it's trademarked also very clever whoever came up with this this is a shaving cream that gives you 24 hour moisture so you're not as obligated to moisturize your legs after you shave if you're lazy and this will keep your skin really soft. I feel like one of the benefits of using a shaving cream also when you're shaving is you're less likely to miss a spot. You can just use soap, it does the job. Since shaving cream forms that thicker foam lather type of thing, you can actually see exactly where you're shaving. And since you're usually handling this when your hands are wet, I really like how they've also designed it with these little divots so that it's more secure in your hand that you can grip it a little better. Now we're on to the final product, the only fragrance. I have made videos about fragrance in the past. I did one in the pandemic with my fragrance collection, linking it over there. I'm not really too much into fragrances. I'm particular about what I use. I'd rather not use any fragrance a lot of the times. When Tom Ford released their Costa Azura perfume, I read about it and it felt like something I would like. The bottle is very gold. It's my first Tom Tom Ford fragrance. I know that Tom Ford fragrances have like a very nice like hallowed reputation. Most of his fragrances are actually unisex. This one is as well. If you were to really classify it, it definitely smells a little bit more masculine. But you know what? I'm into it. This is supposed to be a bit aquatic. It doesn't smell so aquatic to me, but there are these woodsy notes that I like and it's also a little bit musky. As the weather gets colder, I feel like this fragrance will smell even nicer. And that's it for today's video. It was fun going over all of these products with you. I'm gonna start using most of this stuff, so please leave me a comment below letting me know what you're most interested in, and I will work on testing it out. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Please leave comments so I don't feel like a weirdo just talking into my camera. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.